hobos should wash up on the street. I was denied a job 183 times in six months. No one wanted a homeless hairdresser in their salon. To change it, I washed up in a gas station as well as I could and decided to get a haircut with my last money. You reek! I'll suffocate by the time I'm done with you. No, not in the chair. There'll be no cleaning it after you. She sat me on an upside down trash bin. Instead of a cape, she put a trash bag over me. I put up with it because I wanted to change my life. Instead of washing my hair, Karen poured cold water all over me. If you thought I'd touch you with my hands, then you're stinky and stupid. Get lost. A haircut won't do a landfill hobo any good. It hurts so much. I wanted to hide from the entire world. My tools were all I had left from my past life. I had no hope I'd ever change my life for the better. An old man interrupted my dark thoughts. Are you a hairdresser, dear? Could you give me a haircut, please? I'm not sure I can. I believe in you, dear. You can do it. That nice man inspired me, and I dusted off my skills. He loved the cut and brought his friends. My profession started bringing in money again. Soon, I rented a tiny room. I cleaned up and cut my own hair. One day, I overheard a stranger's phone conversation. No way! I have a date with a man of my dreams! I just had to help the woman out. I've got nothing to lose. Go ahead. I poured my entire soul into Ashley's haircut. My God! I thought it was a disaster. Incredible! With your talent, why are you working in this dump? I used to have my own salon, but it burned down. She paid me what I earned in a month. Know what? Come to me. I'll be your regular. Next morning at Ashley's salon, I was in for a surprise. You forgot we don't serve hobos here? What's going on here? I'm trying to get rid of this hobo. Thinking my joy was premature, I was about to leave, but I don't care where she lives or how much money she has. Betty's the best and she'll be working here. Well, I'm not working alongside a hobo. As you wish, you can start looking for a new place to work. Three years later, I opened my own beauty salon, and Karen came to me looking for a job. I gave her one, serving only elderly and homeless clients.